Hello boys and girls, welcome to my channel, I'm the Obscure Angel PT and for today what I do bring you in here it is a Journey. So Journey it is a game that it was exclusive for the PlayStation 3 and I believe PlayStation 4 for a long time, but uh, it is now available on the PC unfortunately and only through Epic Store. This game it is developed by a, a company called That Game Company and they are the developers of games like Flower, so essentially they develop walking simulators but with a lot of artistic feeling and it is quite interesting. Behind this game there is an engine called Fire Engine. The Fire Engine it is uh, pretty much a foundation for many other engines like Ego Engine and Dark Souls. Uh, they, all, they all use this engine and I mean Dirt uses Ego Engine but Ego Engine was built upon the Fire Engine. So I'm going to use medium settings, uh, which I believe it is, for me, the best settings to play up this game with these graphic cards. So medium settings, native resolution, and the game for the minimum settings and recommended asks for an E3 2120, 4 gigs of RAM, and the GTS 450. The GTS 450, despite it is older, it is more stronger than our GT 740M, but not by much. So, I've decided to test the game with the high settings, median settings and low settings. Um, apart from the low settings, median and high settings always used FXAA, I didn't use MSAA because it was very demanding. And with the high settings I got an average of 32 frames per second and a 1% low 27, so I noticed some drops with all 30 frames per second and I'm, I'm a little bit concerned with the performance in later parts on the game, that's why I decided to go with median settings. And I got a much better frame rate, you know, a much better average. So I got an average of 43 and the 1% low of 35. So it was a little bit far from the 30 frames per second. And even if the game drops, it might not be by much. Despite, if even if this game drops from 30 frames per second, it is still very playable because this is pretty much a walking simulator. So even if you get some parts where you're going to get below the 30 frames per second with the eye settings, it's not really that much, but still I do prefer to use the median settings and enjoy a silky smooth experience above 30 frames per second. And the median settings actually looks pretty good despite, yes, I do notice some differences between median and eye. Low settings, I don't think it is worth it. I mean, the extra performance, it is just small and you lose a lot of elements like the tessellation on the floor and the clothing system and all that things and the anti aliasing so I, I think that really the median settings it is really the good balance for you to play this game. Also this game it is very demanding on the CPU front and well that came by surprise and I'm not really sure why because there isn't that much detail unless all this stuff on the ground it is simulated by the CPU and yes the clothing it is simulated by the CPU still I don't see the reason why this demands so much from the CPU but still, the true fact it is, it really requires a lot of CPU and requires AVX instruction. So if you are watching this and you are expecting my Fanon 2X4 video, well, that's just not going to happen because Fanon 2X4 CPUs uh, don't really support AVX. So you really need the AVX CPU to play this game. Fortunately for us, the i5 4200U supports it by a long time ago. Uh, all the Intel E5s and E3 supports those instructions, so you should be able to play this game easily. But none of the last, this game requires a lot of CPU. And uh, actually, I'm recording, and you know that, since I was recording the game with the Windows Game Recorder, which is actually a very decent game recorder, the only downside of that recorder is that, that when the CPU is overloaded with uh, stuff to do, uh, the sound crackling just appears. So if you are watching this video and when I'm going to shut up myself in here you are going to notice a crackling sound. That it is happening just because of the recorder. Because if you are not recording and if you are playing the game just normally you are not going to hear this crackling sound. So what about the price? I mean if you only can get this game from Epic Store, which is a very big disadvantage, how much do you need to pay to get up this game? So, if you are watching this video by now, just jump to the Epic Store because there is a massive sale going on and you can get the game for $4.99. I mean, $4.99. I think it's... I mean, 
40 euros dot 99 it's a very very cheap price i'm really impressed with the price i know that the game it is old from the ps3 times but still it is an insane price after the deal go away you can only get uh, the game for 14.99 it's a considerably more expensive price so if you really want to get this game i really think you should buy it through epic store because the price it is insane 4 euros 99 great great price still if you don't want to buy through epic store i believe you need to wait i'm not sure if this game it is uh, you know a timed exclusive or not i'm not really sure if it's going to get released on steam later or not but for now on the pc the only place where you can get this game it is through epic store and actually and again if you want to get it just rush in because the price right now it is really good so guys that's all that i want to talk about journey hope you keep enjoying the rest of the video and i do hope to see you soon goodbye